What's up everybody, this is Morten Farestrong and welcome to my studio. Uh, by the way, I just gave my studio a name and gave it, gave it a website, so if you want to check that out, the studio is now named supertiptop.com, that's the website. So I'm going to teach you uh, today actually um, <clears throat> one of the little devices that probably I use the most, one of the devices I use the most in my improvisations, so it's a pretty cool little idea. and. Sort of simple, but probably maybe a technical um, challenge. Um, let me just play it for you and talk a little bit, lead into it after that. But it sounds like this. <laughs> So the thing I'm going to teach you is this little triplet thing, um, and uh, to 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 teach you a way to simple way to use this, we're going to uh, put it uh, within a very common pentatonic kind of pattern. So we'll do the pattern first. So you play one, two, three, four, um, the scale descending, and then repeat the pattern, but start a, a note below in the scale. So you have. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four from the note below, and then continuing in the same way. So you can do that uh, all the way with the scale. So uh, we're gonna put this little. Uh, trick within that so uh, the entire phrase that you can practice is like this so let me show you up close what is happening uh, it's, you're using some um, uh, some uh, ec economy picking I guess you would call it so you start with a downstroke up up down so so that's the way to get uh, that kind of flowing feeling uh, and at the same time have like a, a good um, articulation because you're actually picking every note. So what I recommend is that uh, start with just the two notes right, and, and get that up to speed. You know that's not a given that you can do that. And then you have the little sweep in there which is up up right so right about now probably some of you get into trouble <laughs> so so this but this little movement i you know i'm it's not about sweeping is such uh, uh some people have you know a problem with that they they don't want to be sweepers you know but this stuff like this is I don't know how to play it without using a little bit of that technique. And then uh, uh, the next challenge would get to, to be that turn and play a quick downstroke again. So you have down, up, up, and then right hand to a downstroke. Right? So, so that little figure. If you practice that and master that, uh, I think you'll be amazed at how easy it is to use that on any notes. It doesn't have to be the pentatonic scale, um, you know, it can be anything and anywhere on the neck because it's just if you have two notes on two adjacent strings. <laughs> It's, it's all over the place in my playing and of course depending on tempo which tempos you're playing in the tempo that we're playing in on this track really is suited for this so I'm not gonna really say more more about it you can read uh, the entire phrase that I showed you right you can just read that yourself and uh, the, the thing to practice here is really that little economy picking thing um, yeah, and one more thing, when you learn this phrase, ah, uh, I guess it can sort of sound like uh, an exercise, uh, so, so a very simple way to get it to sound less like an exercise 
which I have uh, probably talked a lot about before, is to not start on the beat of one. Start on the beat of two, for example. So instead of one, uh, one, two, three, four. You can do one, two, three, four, a one. Right, just just as simple as that, and it will sound less, less like less exercising. Um, let me play a little bit and you'll see me use this thing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> 